Steve here. Now, I know a lot of you kids have been asking me, Hey, Bubba Steve, have you seen that new Mario Lego set that's coming out? And yes, we have seen the trailer, and I gotta say, well, I think I prefer these Kinect figures over the Lego ones because the Lego ones look kind of goofy. Oh, man, I was hoping something more closer to this type of figure instead of, uh, well, this. Oh, brother. Well, anyway, for today's episode, I want to take a look at the entire line of Kinect figures under the Super Mario line because look at all these figures. <laughs> we got them all because they had like 11 series of blind bag figures and a bunch of play sets. So let's get started with all these cool figures. All right, guys, so the first figure we're going to look at is good old Mario because he is the main character. And we just gotta love this figure. Looks a lot better than that Lego one that they're gonna come out with, which is all blocky and weird. <laughs> oh, but I just love this figure because it's more aligned with what Lego should be doing with that series. Because they should look more like what they're doing with the troll line, because they look like troll figures. So yep, these look like Mario figures that I just love. Now of course, Mario here came with all kinds of different variants with these Mario figures, because we get a Fire Mario, we get the Raccoon Mario, we get the Mario Maker Mario. We also get the Hammer Brother Mario, <laughs> complete with that cool shell. And we get a Golden Mario. And there's about like 15 other thousand Marios <laughs> for you to collect. And a point's like, oh man, how many Marios do I really need here? So we're not gonna look at all the other variants of Mario because, oh man, we'll be here all day. And the same thing goes with Luigi, his super cool brother. All right, so here's the Fire Luigi right here. And he looks cool. He's a little bit taller than Mario, just like he is in the game and these guys look great together. Now speaking of Mario's friends, let's see, we also get Princess Peach. That's pretty cool, they did a great job on her. And we get the other princess here, making two awesome princesses coming at you from this line. Nice, and they look just like them from the video game, only in blocky form, perfect. Okay, so next up is that lovable Toad. Oh, I'm just gonna like this guy. <laughs> He's got that mushroom for a hat. And the best part about him is that they made him in scale with Mario because he's so much smaller. <laughs> oh, I just love it. And of course, if you love Toad, well, you're in luck because they made a bunch of this guy in variants. Let's see, we get a blue Toad. So, yep, it's pretty much the same figure, only painted differently. We get a green Toad. We get a yellow Toad. All right, nice. We also get a purple Toad. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't know there was a purple Toad, but yep, there he is. I know they also made a fire toad, but I mean, oh, holy cow, how many toads do you really need when you want to complete your set here? I think I'm just fine with these guys, so, yep, five's my limit when it comes to owning toads. <laughs> and of course, when we put all these guys together in one place, holy cow, we got a lot of good guys. Too bad all the bad guys we're going to be looking at next. And when you put old Mario and Princess together, oh, aren't they the cutest couple? Ah, oh, so cool. Ah, oh, hey, Princess, I'm Mario too. Why not hang out with me? Ah, uh, get out of here. She doesn't want to hang with you. She wants to hang with me. I'm Mario. Oh, you guys are all nuts. I'm the coolest golden Mario. She wants to hang with me, right, Princess? Uh, I don't think so. I'm out of here. Mamma mia, you guys all scared her away. Oh, darn you Marios. <laughs> oh, you Marios are nuts. Now, in addition to making like 50,000 variants of Toad here, well, they also did the same thing with Yoshi because Yoshi also comes in different colors too. And you really can't blame him because he's so cool looking. Yep, and he's that little cute little green dinosaur that comes at you with a little shell on his back you know, that Mario can ride on throughout the level. All right, come on, Yoshi, let's go! Yoshi! So in addition to that really cute green Yoshi, well, we get a red Yoshi here that looks just as cool. We get ourselves a blue Yoshi. There's also a yellow Yoshi. And last but not least, we get ourselves a pink Yoshi. Ah, oh, nice, and they look great together, don't they? Now it looks like the only colors they didn't make was black and gray here, but once you put those together with the other figures, <laughs> I think we got the whole set. All right, nice, so yep, there's your Yoshi fix for you for this episode. Yoshi! Okay, so now that we've got all the good guys out of the way, let's start getting into the bad guys here because we've got a lot of them. And the first up is that, oh, that king of Koopas, that crazy Bowser. And this is one highly detailed minifigure of this really cool Bowser guy. Oh, look at that big old shell and the hair coming off his face. Oh, I just love it. Oh, I love the spikies around his arms there. And if you like him, well, you're just gonna love Bowser Jr. because he's here too, sporting that little shell. And yeah, put dad with his little son. And these guys look great together. Love it. All right, so let's get into the Koopa minions here. And first up is that, oh, I'm just gonna love these, those little Koopas. 
Oh, brother, just look at that face. Ooh, he's all mean. He's gonna come at you going, ooh, I'm the Koopa guy. And the cool thing about these guys is they made a bunch of these all throughout the uh, Super Mario Brothers line. And as you can see here, where there's little things that you can put in his head that come out, put them right there. And the reason you do that is because, well, you can stack them. Oh, check that out. <laughs> So we got single Goombas, stackable Goombas, and of course, Puppet Steve here has about a thousand of these. So let's see, let's go ahead and stack all these up, uh, like so, and then a boom, bam! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, we got a whole stack of Goombas coming at you, five high. Whoa! Boy, that is so cool. And of course, let's see Mario jump over that. Oh, Mamma Mia! Uh, uh, <laughs> or something like that. Oh, crazy. Okay, so wherever there's Goombas, well, you're gonna have these guys, the Koopa Troopas. And you just gotta love these guys, because they've got that dopey looking turtle face. <laughs> oh, those green shells. So that's pretty darn cool. So, yep, there is the Koopa Troopa. And they also made variants of these guys as well, because they also gave us the red shelled Koopa Troopa with wings. Nice. So, yep, there's the Para Troopa and the Koopa Troopa together in one place, which look great. Yeah, and these are pretty hard to find figures too if you're trying to find them. Now if it's more Koopa Troopa minions you want, well we got this guy right here, we got the Hammer Brother with a green shell. That's pretty cool, I like him. And then we also get this guy right here, which I'm not sure if he is a Boomerang Brother or what he is, but he's got a red shell nonetheless. He didn't come with a hammer, but uh, yeah. Red and green shell turtle guys with hats, and they look great. Another cool thing to add to our collection. And here's another enemy you just love to hate. Oh, those bullet bills. Ha, oh, just look at this guy. He looks like a bullet with little arms coming off of him. And let's see, we got the little rocket in the back. And unfortunately, they didn't come with these bases. I had to build this. We've got one of those Mario coins in the bottom and a little base right there, which fits directly into his bottom. And let's see, we got one of these, two of these. Hey, wait a minute, wait for it. Three of these. Ah, oh, because we've got a gold one too. Not sure why they made a gold one. <laughs> I don't remember that guy from the game, but there he is. Nonetheless, a really cool gold variant of Bullet Bill. And if you love yourself some babobs, well, we've got those too. Aw, oh, check out this lovable guy with the big old eyes. Oh, I love it. The cool feet, that's neat. And then we got the little twisty babob on the back. All right, cool. And the weird thing is, they actually made two different ones. This one's got green feet, and they're both different. This one's a little bit bigger than the other guy, but they both got those wind-up things in the back. So that's kind of cool. But yep, those are two different babobs that Kinect's made. We've got them for you. Now, they also made some Shy Guy figures, which he looks pretty darn cool. Gotta love that with the little feet that move. <laughs> oh, isn't he so cute and little? They also made a figure of the Boo. <laughs> I gotta like that. He's kind of floating there on that little base. So, yep, that's cool because with his tail and all. Gotta love that figure. And now it's time to jump into the water world with that crazy cheap cheap. Oh, look at that little fish. Oh, looks just like he does from the video game. And in addition to the cheap cheap, they also made the little bloopers, which are those jellyfish you just love to hate. And we got two of those, and they look pretty cool. So there's all the ocean figures. And next up are all the creatures from the dungeon, starting with that good old dry bones, but this is a pair of dry bones. So it's kind of cool, he's got some wings. And it's kind of weird that they didn't make him without wings. There he is, that would have been a cool variant to make. They also made some Reznars. And I gotta like these, this came with a playset. And the cool thing about Reznar is you can open up his mouth and put a little pellet inside so he shoots that out and goes, boom. <laughs> I don't have one of those now, but, but yep, there's him. And the last dungeon creature we got is this guy right here, which I don't know his name, but he's got spikies all over his body. And he was another one that came with a playset, so yep, he's another hard one to find. Now, in addition to these bad guys, well, we also get a figure of Wario, which is a rare, hard-to-find figure out of those blind bags. So, yep, there's good old Wario, and he comes with his brother, Waluigi. <laughs> oh, man, is he a great character? So, yep, put these guys together, and we got the evil counterparts of Mario coming at you. And speaking of other video game characters, well, we've got two more to show you, which rounds up our cool checklist. We've got Donkey Kong with Diddy Kong. And both these guys look great. I just love the tie right there. And he's wearing his hat, which uh, doesn't come off, but that's all right, because I don't want to lose it. But yep, there's two really awesome monkey figures coming at you, which also came from those cool blind bags. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if these really count as figures or not, but yeah, these are cool nonetheless. We get little uh, power-ups on these little bases that they made throughout the uh, series of the Connects line. And yep, there are a bunch more than these, but that's all I've got right here is these four little things. So yep, there they are, looking cool as ever. All right, kids, well, there it is, the entire Connects line of Super Mario figures, which makes a complete checklist for you to check.